us uh, some creative tasks, um, mainly improvisation tasks. Um, they range from like improvising without looking at each other, um, then a task was to spiral around each other. Um, and what he did with all of the tasks is he actually just set a camera and we just played around with this idea that he gave us for half an hour to an hour and he um, took home the footage looked at all the tasks back and found particular moments in each improvisation that he liked and the day after we had to learn it, which mm. was quite a challenge because um, obviously when you're improvising it kind of just feels natural at that time um, so then we had to relearn some of the things and they didn't feel quite so natural after that. There were bits that never even made it, bits that he liked that never even made it into the stage show because we just, we couldn't recreate, we just couldn't recreate yeah. those moments. There were grips and there were body positions that just yeah, did not make that, sense yeah. when it came back to trying to relearn it and we haven't found the journey in and out. Yeah. Um, filming it was a challenge. We had to be aware of the fact that we weren't any longer going to be on a, on a flat, beautiful, stable flat, surface. stable surface. Yeah. Um, so then transferring it to location meant we were either on sloping hills, we were in forest land with you know, rabbit holes and a quarry, quarry which was with... just grit and it was quite slippery yeah um so yeah the conditions were completely different uh, to how we used to perform in it and it's very very challenging because <coughs> not only did we have to um keep me off the floor but um aaron's surface was just very very unstable mm. so it was just uh yeah very different and also being outdoors because in a nice warm theatre, you've warmed up, you're nice and warm, you've got the lights on you, it's really warm. We were literally outdoors in the middle of nowhere in quite a cold month. It was cold. It was very stop-start. It was so stop-start that then when so you, you came to actually do it for the take, your body, your body was, not was not warm because you'd gone through the, the hour and a half or the two hours to prep the shot and then the shot would be a few movements and then we'd change location and then it would have to go, you'd have to go through that hour yeah. and a half, two hour process yeah. again. The choreography footage. itself stayed exactly the same from stage to uh, filming, but it looked quite different because the obviously the, the camera angle, you can move around us and you can see different angles and different shots. So even though, though the choreography stayed the same, you're not just viewing it from the front. So you can... To start with, it was purely a matter of the physicality being able to get through it because it's such a challenging duet physically um, and obviously the idea is for me not to touch the floor at all for the full 17 minutes so that also almost became like the main priority in the beginning that was like we can't touch the floor we can't touch the floor so it was um, yeah more about that and the physicality and getting to know each other's way and this that and the other and how far and extreme we could take a leg or an arm or whatever um, but then over time, it became yeah. more than just the physical and we started to actually be able to tell a story, which is what it's about, but we felt like we were able to move over from just the physical side of it more into um, an emotional um, place. Mm. And it was survival at first, it was survival to yeah. get from beginning to end. Once we became comfortable with that, it became a personal thing as well. We would each have that journey, we would each have that person, I think, that we would recognize the other body as being mm, definitely people that have seen the duet over time really noticed a development towards the end of our performance of this it was something quite special and one of the most special pieces i've ever performed it mm. wasn't just about moving it was actually more than that and like a relationship <coughs> just between us and i think some of the best responses we ever got were from people that didn't realise she hadn't touched the floor yeah, until they until it was the end. Which was quite interesting because you would think point you would notice all, yeah, that. Yeah, you would notice away. that, and that's one of the biggest compliments when people got past the point that it, of the physical yeah. effort of it or the, the the physical attributes, and it became something that they could connect with and that they weren't expecting. And it's always been one of those pieces for me where. Um, you don't actually realise there's an audience there. It is literally about me and Aaron in our space and you almost forget you're performing. It's so kind of, what's the word, intense. Yeah. 